Today what I've decided to highlight for one of our featured mains is turkey tenderloin. If you're like me, this is something that you've probably walked by in the supermarket dozens and dozens of times, never even noticed. Uh, I'm a big fan of white meat uh, chicken or chicken breast, and this is a great alternative if you're just looking to do something a little bit different or you just want to mix it up. So I'd recommend getting your sides going, and once you've got your side dishes going, this is gonna take about 15 or 20 minutes, uh, depending, start to finish. I recommend letting the turkey tenderloin sit out for a couple of hours, if you can, uh, before you start it, get it closer to room temperature. Uh, but the process is really simple. What we're going to do is we're gonna coat it in a fat. Today I'm gonna to recommend duck fat. Uh, if you don't know where to get duck fat, I order it online from Dark Tanyan. If you don't wanna go through the trouble of duck fat, just regular oil will work just fine, but I do think that duck fat works particularly well uh, for turkey tenderloin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna coat our turkey tenderloins uh, with either the oil, or in this case, the duck fat, and then we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna put it in a cold pan and then cook it on medium heat. Okay, the process is pretty simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and we are going to coat our turkey tenderloin with a little bit of the duck fat and a particular warning those of you who suffer from dyslexia uh, be careful when you say duck fat now one of the things I like when working with duck fat is you're gonna find that with just a little bit of warmth it liquefies so we're just gonna go ahead now and coat the turkey tenderloins with the duck fat turkey tenderloin can also be on the dry side so I find that the duck fat or the oil whatever you use does help in keeping it a little moister now, turkey tenderloin, like all turkey, is definitely something that you want to cook all the way through. You want to get it to an internal temperature of like 165. Um, so I start cooking it in a cold pan. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of my fat, in this case duck fat, or if you're not using that, use some oil. And we'll just coat that a little bit. I'm going to take the tenderloins and put them in the cold pan. And all we're going to apply is salt and pepper. And when we flip it, we'll apply salt and pepper to the other side. Now, if you want to put a little bit of seasoning on it, I might recommend rosemary, but we're going to use uh, some finishing sauces later, so I'm not going to put any seasoning other than the salt and pepper. So let's take it over to the stove. And you come over and you heat it on medium heat. These have been cooking for seven minutes. As you can notice, you can see the white ring starting to creep up. Uh, that tells me it's time to flip it, and that looks really good. Again, these have been cooking on medium heat. We're gonna come back and check on these. We're gonna let those cook for probably about another five minutes or so. And then we're gonna let them sit in a warm pan. Okay, let's take a look. These have been cooking for an additional five minutes. That looks really good. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do at this point, it's been a total of 12 minutes. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I am gonna let them sit for an additional five minutes to ensure that they cook all the way through. Okay, our tenderloins are done. They've been resting for an additional five minutes and they look really good. Now with turkey, I would always recommend just verifying that it is cooked through. And that looks Perfect. I've done this a number of times and I do think it's a great uh, sort of a variation, if you will, off of white meat chicken. And so what I like to do is I'll just set it out and put a finishing sauce on. So some of the recommendations that uh, I'd like to make, I think Stonewall Kitchen has some great finishing sauces, all sorts of different ones. I'm a big fan of their buffalo aioli. Uh, they've also got a habanero mango aioli that I like a lot. And with turkey, cranberry sauce is always great. If you can't find fresh cranberries, what I'm gonna recommend is uh, this holiday season, buy some extra bags, put them in a Ziploc, and stick them in the freezer. I'll tell you that I've made cranberry sauce throughout the year uh, by using frozen fresh cranberries, and it works fantastic. <music> If you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if right now you would just go ahead and click subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And if you would, please uh, click like and also ring that bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you.